Hey guys, today on the Amy Jo Show, we're gonna be opening up a Project MC Square doll. This is Bryden, and the science experiment is making a super cool iPhone case. I always say this when I open Project MC Square dolls, but look how beautiful. Look at her pretty eyes. I just love these dolls so much. Okay, so here's Bryden out of the box. So she's got really beautiful, long, cool hair, dark blue, light blue, shades of hot pink and purple. And she is ready for the masquerade prom. So look how cool her dress is. It's a mermaid skirt. Look at her crazy shoes. <laughs> So the dress is so pretty, or I guess really it's, it's like a shirt and a skirt. She's super articulated. That's why she just fell back like that. So she bends at the elbows, the knees, the wrists. And she comes with this really cool mask so she can be undercover at the prom. Isn't that cool? And this is from the back of the box, so this is what everybody else wore. Ooh, look at Michaela. She looks cool. See what everybody wore? Looks like everybody has a mask. I like Bryden's mask the best. Trying to see like which outfit, I don't know. I like Amber's outfit a lot. They all look good. <laughs> the other things that come with the doll are a comb to comb her hair and then an iPhone case. This fits the iPhone 6 or 6S. I have a 6 and I desperately need a new case so it's perfect. And then we have some glitter. Here are the instructions and what we need from home is food coloring and glycerin and I actually don't have glycerin. Um, I'm going to be using clear baby oil which is a perfectly fine substitution. Glycerin is a little thicker so the separation would look cooler if we had glycerin but the clear baby oil will work and even if you didn't have that you could use like olive oil or cooking oil. It would turn it yellow. So. It would work. So the science behind this project is the oil and water and how they do not mix. So let's get started and I'll show you. On the very top of the case is a little plug. We're gonna remove that and set that aside. And this is where we'll add the baby oil, a little bit of water and the food coloring. See the oil? I'm sure I'm gonna spill. I'm gonna try to add <laughs> the water without spilling. I have a paper towel ready. Ooh, I did it. See the bubbles? Let's add a little more. Okay, I know that's hard to see there. So that is the water and the baby oil that I added separated. I have some food coloring. We'll add this next. This should look really neat. Kind of swirl it around. 
I don't have the top on yet, so I can't get too crazy. Now, as you can see, the food coloring is mixing with the water, but not with the oil. Isn't that neat? Should we add some glitter? I think so. The glitter came with the kit, so, ah, you don't need your own glitter. Now I think it's time to put the plug back in so we can shake it up. Oh, that is so cool. What do you guys think? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let me grab my phone. That's perfect. <laughs> and one really cool thing is you can take this plug out and you can redo this over and over again. So. If you got sick of the glitter, you could add anything. You could add, oh, you know what would look so cute is like those little sequins that look like confetti. I like the glitter, but the glitter kind of hides how cool all of the bubbles are from the separation. So typically I say yes to glitter in every situation, but I don't know. I don't know if I love it in this because it's harder to see the bubbles. Maybe after it sinks a little bit. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment and tell me if you think I should have left the glitter out or if you like it with the glitter. Okay guys, there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye.